consider the function and the graph <laughs> to the right. Well, looks like it's below here in this one. That's OK. Uh, the function has a relative maximum of what? There should be a question in there at x equals whatever. OK, so relative maximum. So a relative maximum is a maximum value in the curve over a small neighborhood. Not necessarily the largest value overall, but it's sort of like where a peak occurs. So this particular point right here, uh, we know that this is a relative maximum because over a small range of values, it's the largest overall. All right, so uh, we have a relative maximum of y equals negative 3 at x equals 3. All right, so I'm just using the coordinates of that point uh, because this is x equals 3, y equals negative 3. So the relative maximum itself is the y value. The location is the x. All right, the function has a relative minimum. So I'll switch and use a different color for the relative minimum of something uh, at x equals what? All right, so a relative minimum, in contrast, is a value that is the smallest over a small window of uh, values. So this right here, for instance, that's the smallest in this small window of values surrounding. So that is a relative minimum. So we have a relative minimum at negative 6, or of negative 6 at x equals 0, because the coordinates here are 0, negative 6. The function is increasing on the intervals what? So let's check where it's increasing. So a function is increasing where it's going up in value. And we're always reading from left going to right. So going from left to right, this part of the graph is uh, going down in the y value, so it's decreasing. So that's not what we're looking for. And then this part, uh, we are now increasing, so we're actually going up. So we're going down here, up there, down there. So we are increasing on this interval. So let's just indicate that. So we are increasing on the interval from 0 to 3. And I'm using 0 to 3 because, uh, if you'll notice, uh, 0 on the x is here, zero, or 3 on the x is here. And it's that interval from here to here where the function is increasing. So that's why I've only used 0 to 3. I don't want to say from 0, 6 to 3, negative 3. You don't need to give too much information here. You just need to say the x range of values that your function is increasing. And similarly, to answer the following question, which is fairly down the range here, uh, decreasing on which interval? So it's decreasing on the intervals. So this function's following in the same pattern here all the way to positive infinity. All right, so that means that I am decreasing all the way from negative infinity up to this particular point where it stops decreasing. So from negative infinity to 0, and then it starts decreasing again from this point, which has uh, an x value of 3, off to positive infinity, because it continues in this pattern forever. So then from 3 to positive infinity. So just analyzing the graph there. <laughs>